Step-by-step -step debugging with IPython. From what I have read, there are two ways to debug code in Python. With a traditional debugger such as PDB or IP. This supports commands such as C for continue, N for step over, S for step into etc. But you don't have direct access to an IPython shell, which can be extremely useful for object inspection. Using IPython by embedding an IPython shell in your code. You can do from IPython import embed, and then use embed in your code. When your program slash script hits an embed statement, you are dropped into an IPython shell. This allows the full inspection of objects and testing of Python code using all the IPython goodies. However, when using embed you can't step by step through the code anymore with handy keyboard shortcuts. Is there any way to combine the best of both worlds? I Be able to step by step through your code with handy PDB slash IP keyboard shortcuts at any such step, for example on a given statement, have access to a full-fledged IPython shell iPython debugging as in MATLAB. An example of this type of enhanced debugging can be found in MATLAB, where the user always has full access to the MATLAB engine slash shell, and she can still step by step through her code, define conditional breakpoints, etc. From what I have discussed with other users, this is the debugging feature that people miss the most when moving from MATLAB to iPython. IPython debugging in Emacs and other editors. I don't want to make the question too specific, but I work mostly in Emacs, so I wonder if there is any way to bring this functionality into it. Ideally, Emacs, or the editor, would allow the programmer to set breakpoints anywhere on the code and communicate with the interpreter or debugger to have it stop in the location of your choice and bring to a full IPython interpreter on that location. You can use IPython's percent %PDB magic. Just call percent %PDB in IPython and when an error occurs, you're automatically dropped to IP. While you don't have the stepping immediately, you're in IP afterwards. This makes debugging individual functions easy, as you can just load a file with percent %load and then run a function. You could force an error with an assert at the right position. Percent %PDB is a line magic. Call it as percent %PDB on, percent %PDB1, percent %PDB off or percent %PDB0. If called without argument it works as a toggle. What about ipe.set underscore trace? In your code. Import ipe, ipe.set underscore trace. Update, now in Python 3.7, we can write breakpoint. It works the same, but it also obeys to the Python breakpoint environment variable. This feature comes from this pep. This allows for full inspection of your code, and you have access to commands such as C, continue, N, execute next line, S, step into the method at point, and so on. See the IPE repo and a list of commands iPython is now called, edit, part of, Jupyter. P.S. Note that an ipe command takes precedence over Python code. So in order to write list foo you'd need print list foo, or list foo. Also, if you like the iPython prompt, its Emacs and Vim modes, history, completions, it's easy to get the same for your project since it's based on the Python prompt toolkit. Update on May 28, 2016, using Realgut and Emacs. For anyone in Emacs, this thread shows how to accomplish everything described in the op, and more, using a new important debugger in Emacs called Realgood which can operate with any debugger, including IPE, 
the Emacs packages and mode. The combination of these two packages is extremely powerful and allows one to recreate exactly the behavior described in the op and do even more. More info on the wiki article of Realgood for IT. Original answer. After having tried many different methods for debugging Python, including everything mentioned in this thread, one of my preferred ways of debugging Python with IPython is with embedded shells. Defining a custom embedded IPython shell. Add the following on a script to your Python path, so that the method ifs becomes available. Then, whenever I want to debug something in my code, I place ifs right at the location where I need to do object inspection, etc. For example, say I want to debug my underscore function below. Using it. And then I invoke my underscore function 2 in one of the following ways. Either by running a Python program that invokes this function from a Unix shell. Or by invoking it directly from IPython. Regardless of how I invoke it, the interpreter stops at the line that says ifs. Once you are done, you can do Control D and Python will resume execution, with any variable updates that you made. Note that, if you run the code from a regular IPython the IPython shell, case 2 above, the new IPython shell will be nested inside the one from which you invoked it, which is perfectly fine, but is good to be aware of. Either way, once the interpreter stops on the location of ifs, I can inspect the value of A, which B2, see what functions and objects are defined, etc. The problem. The solution above can be used to have Python stop anywhere you want in your code, and then drop you into a fully fledged IPython interpreter. Unfortunately it does not let you add or remove breakpoints once you invoke the script, which is highly frustrating. In my opinion, this is the only thing that is preventing IPython from becoming a great debugging tool for Python. The best you can do for now. A workaround is to place it to priori at the different locations where you want the Python interpreter to launch an IPython shell, i.e. a breakpoint. You can then jump between different predefined, hard-coded breakpoints with Control D, which would exit the current embedded IPython shell and stop again whenever the interpreter hits the next call to itch. If you go this route, one way to exit debugging mode and ignore all subsequent breakpoints, is to use if shell.dummy underscore mode equals true which will make Python ignore any subsequent instantiations of the if shell object that we created above. You can start IPython session from pub and go back to the debugging session as you like. BTW Up is using IPython behind the scenes and you can actually use IPython functionality such as tab completion and magic commands, the one starts with percent. If you are okay with IP you can start it from IPython using commands such as percent run and percent debug. IP session is actually better than plain IPython 1 in the sense you can go up and down in the stack trace etc. What is missing in IP for object inspection? Also, Python.l bundled with Emacs is greater than or equal to 24.3 has nice IP support.